Good morning, it is 11.30 a.m. on Friday the 17th of May and it is time for today in my Bujo. How are you? You alright? Um, I've missed a day or two uh, simply because Wednesday I did a live and then yesterday I did an impromptu live where I opened a package that I had from Wendy. Hi, you look at this! <laughs> Should we move them underneath? Um, I had a package from Wendy inside with these that Daryl opened this morning. Thanks, Wendy. You happy? Yeah. Yeah, go I, on then. I like feet, but they have some things with it. Yeah, other things. Don't they? Go on then, go and watch your and film. Watch this. <gasps> That's so cool! Yeah. See you in a minute, YouTube. Alright. Go on. Love you. I love you. Um, yeah, I did an impromptu live last <laughs> night. <laughs> Mwah! where I um, opened the package that Wendy sent me. She sent me so many goodies, you guys. It is like, oh, it was brilliant. Um, I'll link to that in the cards up there. So I haven't actually done any journaling, any planning or anything. Look, uh, my pages are ready and there's nothing on them for, from Wednesday onwards. Uh, so my plan is, is that I will do the morning part of the plan with me. I've got to go out this afternoon and then when I get home later, I will sketch everything up that needs to be sketched. And when I come back to do the evening edition, it will all get penned in and painted and we will get caught up. That's the best I can do. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I can sort of remember um you know a little bit of journaling to write in i went out with my mother yesterday which is why i waited to do the, the unboxing last night but i can't remember what i did wednesday but this is a good thing about social media because i can go back and have a look see what i did <laughs> i think i went down and cleaned up down the road and, and that was about it really i didn't didn't do much else but anyway i can journal all that in later so we're gonna get caught up I did my night face cream and my hands last night. I have actually been filling my planner up. I just haven't been filming. So I've been so tired last couple of days and all of that lot. So um, I did that last night. Yeah, that's all filled in and up to date. So steps. My steps were below 10,000 last night, which is most unlike me. 7,851, but gosh, I was tired. So, 7,000, let's put me about there. But I kind of just sort of took a week off of everything, you know. I'm not doing my Fitbit challenge this week, which is why my steps are a lot lower. Um, I just needed a bit of me time, I think, which, you know, that happens. And it's been quite relaxing. It's been really, really nice, you know, to not have to worry about anything. Uh... I did not do the banister or the bathroom yesterday or Daryl's table. I did the dishwasher and the worktops and I swept the floor. So I'm actually waiting in for the post because I've got a few bits coming, which I will show you later. Um, so I could do the banister in the bathroom in a minute. Um, today, the extra thing I've got to do is the microwave. So I could do the microwave banister in the bathroom all in one hit while I'm waiting for the post. That's cool, that's not an issue. There we go, and skip to this week. <laughs> Things that I'm waiting for is listed there. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it, really. Oh yeah, I need to write in the day there. Because that was in yesterday's. <clears throat> there we go, Thursday really pleased with my lettering lately. I just feel like it's coming along in leaps and bounds at the moment. So let's change the pen. They look very similar, don't they? <laughs> uh, I've moved a few things around and my trolley is now right next to me so I don't have to get things out because it's sort of too far away for me to see. But yeah, so I know these aren't going to look much different. Weather. 
today is grey, grey, and, and, and there's, yeah, it's grey, it even looks like it might actually fucking rain. I hope it doesn't, because, um, I've agreed to go out later, and I don't, come on, catch up a little, it's chilly as well, it's not, not very nice. Yeah, mostly cloudy. <laughs> Oh, chance of rain. That's not good. That is not good. YouTube. It's afternoon. Mm. So I think we'll take the bus pass with us just in case. There's a 1% chance of rain. So I think we'll be alright. But it's mostly cloudy. So I'm going to continue my little cloud there. All grey and miserable. Although saying that, there's like a high of 13 and a low of 10, which is warmer than what the low's been for the past week. Longer. They haven't had a low of 10 since last Tuesday. Sun apparently came up at quarter past five or 5.14 this morning and will go down at 8.49 tonight. So we are like this far away from 9 p.m. sunsets. And you know summer's here and you can get the barbecue going. So today I have done my day face cream. Now thankfully, although the cap colour is similar, the pen colour isn't. That's nice. This is a very nice rose look. <clears throat> so what I would do when I've done the challenges is I would colour in all of those weeks. Oh, not sorry, wrong one. <laughs> colour in all of those in the same pen. That's makeup. Because <laughs> I was thinking, well, why haven't I coloured in all of these? That's makeup. So yeah, third one, that third one is the challenges. So when I do today, yesterday and the day before, I will colour in all of these boxes at the same time. I'll show that I did it today. So let's pull a card. Let's pull a card, card, card. What shall we pull? Let's pull the witch's tarot. Shall we? Which should be that one. Hmm, karma. Hmm. So, they're celebrating an, an eclipse. Okay. Um, this looks like it might be a family. Because um, there's a child and two adults there. Um, and they're obviously celebrating or worshipping the eclipse. The eclipse is believed by an awful lot of people to be a very, very powerful time. Because it's neither night... It is neither, and it is both, night and day, if that makes sense. It's neither one or the other, but it is both of them. Yeah. Um, a lot of people believe that the eclipse is like a, a refresh time, a renewal time. Um, it's a very spiritual time. So I'm wondering what that means in regards to me. Hmm. I don't believe we're anywhere near an actual eclipse time. Um, I used to have a thing on my phone. I don't think I've still got it on here anymore. I used to have a thing that told me what the moon did, but I don't think I have it on here anymore. Uh, so look. Current moon phase UK. Oh, we're at the halfway point. May 18th, tomorrow is a full moon. Okay. Yeah, we're waxing gibbous at 97.2% here in the UK. So we're due a full moon. So we're at the other end of that, if you like. That's interesting, isn't it? 
and yet the card is named Karma. I've written a spiritual time, a time to take stock of renewal. I'm sure that that message will make itself relevant quite soon. Sometimes they scream in your face and they're quite blunt about what the message is. And then other times they make not a whit of sense. Right, I'm up to date with my mood and my pain tracker. I need to write those in, so grab my gold pen. So yesterday was seven eight five one three point two eight steps. Day before was ten one nine five. 4.33 miles. Oh no, I need that for my. What time am I to sleep? I'm to sleep about quarter past 12. And I woke up at about half past seven. It wasn't a very, very good night. I must have gotten up and down, up and down, up and down. I was so, so tired. Bloody yo-yo. So cross. It's horrible when all you want to do is sleep and you can't. Okay, so we've done the loo and the laundry. And I'll get on and do the rest of the um, chores in a moment. Hopefully all my stuff will arrive. I've ordered a new sim. Oh, I've got to set up the races if anybody wants a race. I've got to do that in a sec. Let's do that now. Basically, um, my Fitbit team like to, some of them, like to um, have unofficial weekend motivational type doohickeys. So um, I have to set it up because I scatten. And I've only got one that wants a race. Sandra, she wants a value loop. So, yes, you set it up and you invite a friend and you click that friend and there you go. So that's with that set up, so I can now actually tick that off. Yay! I get to tick something off in the morning. It's nice when that happens. <laughs> so, yeah, eagerly awaiting the post. Hurry the fuck up. The trouble is, when you're waiting for it, it doesn't turn up until late, does it? And I need to go out this afternoon. Um, right, guava today. I do have some new gelatos, but I've literally just started this box, so I'm going to keep going through them, and then um, when we get to the end, we will do the new ones. And I don't know where I'm going to store the thingies because I need a new, I need an empty box to put them in. So, because I've got dobbers, I could just do with an empty box for my dobbers, you know. Does anyone have an empty dobber box? It is so, so pale, this colour. You can barely see that because of the shadowing from the day before. I don't mind the shadowing. Oh, I like the seven. That's very swish. There, you can't see that very well because it's such a pale colour. I had a lovely comment on my um, shopping with Daryl video. I've never had anyone tell me that I was a parent in gold before now. And I was just like, wow. <laughs> she said the bond I had with Daryl and my other children, because obviously Callie and Kyle were both in that video, um, was, you know, something to work towards. And I was like, wow, that's um, that's really sweet. Like, you know, caught me right there. I was like, oh, wow. So, yeah. Thank you to the person who left that comment that was really sweet and it meant quite a lot to me um yeah <laughs> uh, right so we're caught up um put everything away 
like I said, I will get the challenges done for the last, for, for, for basically everything from Wednesday onwards. Tuesday was the Trapper Keeper. So I've got to do, I know there's tropical leaves is one of them, isn't it? Um, let's have a look. So, the writing was King of the Road by Roger Miller, Sweet Home Alabama by, I don't know how you pronounce that, is it Lin Linyard Skinyard? Never heard of him. And then On the Road Again by Willie Nelson. My buddy, oh yeah, that's that bloody dull thing, wasn't it? And My Buddy, a cassette tape, and a rotary phone. There's a video going around on Facebook at the moment of two teenagers and they've been told they've got like a certain amount of time to figure out how to work a rotary phone and their parents have given them something to be like twenty dollars and um, it's, it's absolutely freaking hysterical because these boys believe that to reset it you lift the handset and put it back down again and you dial the number and then you lift the handset and you put it back down it, it's it's very funny and they do figure it out literally by the skin of their teeth but it is a very very funny video to watch so yeah um and then i've got to do tropical leaves there and a fancy drink, I'm thinking like a cocktail, you know, tropical cocktail, to go here. <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna be drawing a lot. So the evening edition might be on quite late tonight, so it depends what time I get home. But yeah, I just hope it doesn't rain. Anyway, what have you got planned for today? Or what did you end up doing today? By the time you sort of see this, it'll be the end of your day. So, and did you do what you had planned? Or did your plans all go to shit and you ended up doing something else? Or, or you know, did you sit on the sofa eating chocolate and watching the Giro d'Italia, which I believe my mother's doing? Because I've just subscribed on her behalf to the Eurosport player on my um, Amazon Prime. My mum loves the cycling, the tennis. I love the snooker. So it was it's worth it. For seven quid a month, I can't say no. Um... Sorry. <laughs> well, I did it while she was here this morning. Signed up for it all and I went, yeah, look, you do it like this. And went in and, and the Eurosport player was there. And I put the Giro d'Italia on. And then 20 minutes later, I turned it off and told her to go home because she was sat there wrapped watching it. And I was like, mum, go home and watch it at your house. I've got things to do. <laughs> and she was like, oh. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna miss 20 minutes because it takes her. She's not very mobile, my mum. But she walks around the block every single morning because she's adamant that she's not gonna lose what little mobility she has left. And I'm the halfway point. I'm the other side of the block, if you like, from where my mum lives. So she leaves her house. And um, if, if you imagine that this is the block where we live, she lives here and I live here. So she leaves her house and she goes up a slight little slope there and then there's a gym which used to be um Hi YouTube Shh Mummy's talking. It's a it's a gym. It used to be um what we in England call a working men's club. And it used to be the working men's club. We all still call it the working men's club. Everybody that's lived here forever says, Oh yeah, you know, the working men's club. <laughs> oh, oh no, the gym. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so she leaves her house, she walks up a little slope there of about 10, 15 houses. Then she comes through the Workmen's Club car park, and then there's like a little footpath up here. So she goes up this wee footpath, and then she comes along the road at the side of my house, because I live on, on this corner. She comes along this road, and then she comes there, and then she comes in and has a cup of tea at my house. She just stays for about an hour, you know, she drinks her tea, and we have a chat, and whatever. And then she leaves, and she walks back down the road, around the corner, and into her house. The whole thing is it's probably about only half a mile not even that you know it takes two minutes to walk I'm gonna have to measure it I'm gonna have to plot it on my Fitbit just to see actually how far it is to do the whole thing to go around the block just out of interest but she tries to do that every morning which I just think is absolutely fantastic but yeah this morning I actually had to kick her out I was like mother go home <laughs> otherwise she'd be here all day demanding food while she watches the cycling <laughs> but it's really cool because this means that I can catch up on the cycling as well because I want to watch the Giro d'Italia. I've been to Italy and it's beautiful and I just want to be able to watch it and go, oh, I've been there. You know, like I do whenever I watch anything in America. I go, oh, I've been there and I've been there and I've been there and I've been there and I didn't like that when I went because <laughs> it's been, what, 12 years since I went to Florida and far too much. Oh, post! Back in a minute. Okay. 
post! I got post, I got post, I got post, I got post. Do you know what? See this big box at the bottom? All right, hang on, because I'm trying to do it so you guys, I don't flash my address, I'll just have to book it out after. Ah! Political shit. Um, this box, <laughs> this is the one, if you follow me on social media, you'll know I got a customs charge for something that supposedly came from Germany. Well, I hadn't ordered anything from Germany. And after a little bit of investigation and a little bit of digging about, turns out that this parcel is actually from the States. And um, I'm so pissed off because I got charged, I paid £19.90 something, less than £20 for this. And then I've had to pay £11 in customs and handling in a fuck off great big box for a watercolour set. Why pack it in this stupendously huge box? You know? Couldn't believe it. And I didn't even know it was a US fucking... Um, no, they haven't even put the price on it. I didn't even know it was a US company when I ordered it. I'm so cross. So my palettes that should have been 20 quid ended up being over 30 pounds. Absolute ridiculous. And why package it in such a huge... You know, you could have stuck that in a jiffy envelope, couldn't you? Oh, I get some greens, finally. Some decent flipping greens, look. Loads of greens, wow. This is the Glitz, the Glitz C palette. Like the colour of that blue. Oh, more pinks. Bit more of a fleshy type one again. Lovely. Play with those later. What else did we get? Oh, is this my, um, yes. This is, um, so I'm obscuring the sender's address. I carry an A6 around, as you guys all know. And uh, I had the chance to buy a Pell. TN in a D stash. Oh my god, it's lovely. You sent me this as well. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm assuming this is die cut and not a sticker. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's oh god, it feels amazing. She stuck a couple of notebooks in here for me, which I'm not really bothered about. That one would be a nice sketchbook actually, and is huge. I might keep the lined ones just for I will retie the elastics because they're loose. But wow, this is nice leather. Really, really nice. The elastics are very loose, but for all I know, it's been restrung. Oh, it doesn't smell. That's a shame. So yeah, this is my nude carry about in my bag. It's quite floppy, which I like. I didn't want anything too rigid, but I wanted something a bit more rigid than... Um, what my cloth one was giving me. So what I'm gonna do, let's have a look. I've got all my sort of little notebooks and shit on one side. So this is my old planner. I like to keep, you know, a good amount of um, planner to carry about me. Because the amount of times you'll be out and about and somebody will go, Oh, when did we do so and so and so and so? I don't fucking know. Because if I've got my planner, I can at least flip back and have a look. Now I jump ring these or jump band these. That's my notebook. <clears throat> because um, that way I can hold more <laughs> in my planner. So what you do is you stick a band on one of them and then put them in so they are back to back like so and then through the first jump band you just go like that and then they're held together yeah I'm definitely definitely going to tighten that because that would do my nut in look how loose that is it's quite thick elastic actually that's been used in here that's better a bit of strength and then what I like to do is I jump to the month that we're in, or in May, 
and then I basically just paper clip all of that together so that I don't have to flick. That is so sweet. This is my template for drawing my weeks out. I'm going to have to show you guys how I actually use this planner. Put that there as a little keepsake. That's really nice. I'll use that notebook for a while. And I think that's six. I think my other one was full. Oh, look, there's so much room in there. I could make this so freaking chunky. It needs to be trained a bit to give the you know square the elastic off a bit. I get the feeling this has not been very loved, you know. The girl that I got it from, she got it in a D stash. Um, but I just the the look of it, I just kind of get the feeling it's not been loved very much. So you know, I've got some little post-it notes there. Chuck those in the back. Well, she's going to get loved with me. The only thing it doesn't have, which I was quite surprised at, and I never actually thought to check, was a pen loop. So, I'm either going to have to make one, or... Now that works, doesn't it? I'm going to tuck my pen onto the back pocket. Oh, brilliant. So now what I carry in my handbag or purse to the Americans is I carry this <coughs> and I carry this <laughs> if you were not in my live uh, last night I think it was um, this is a card wallet I've had this card wallet for years okay this is what it looks like on the inside um, and I've had this forever okay and I go back to it on a regular basis and then sometimes I think oh you know blah 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 and then um, I decided well you know bus timetables and train timetables fit inside quite nicely but it kept flopping and then I thought, oh, I need a traveller's notebook. So I literally turned this into a TN style wallet. I um, punched a hole in it and I banged a thingy through. Grommet, is it? Is that what they're called? What they're called? Sucked some elastic in and now it stays shut. So yeah. I don't take this out and about simply because um, it's too precious to me. It really is. Um, I could, you know, I'd be upset, but I can handle losing this and I can handle losing this. Um, yeah, I would be upset, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. Whereas this has got everything in it. I put my art in here. I put my lettering in here. I put my journal is in here. This is just a planner. This has got everything else in it. So yeah, I would be quite gutted if, um, if I lost my big one. And uh, not only that, it's heavy. You know, these two together weigh less than this. So, you know, so what I plan to do, I was saying to my daughter about this, I'm going to use the new notebook that this lady sent to me, this, this big one here, as like an art journal. So I'm going to get another, um, another pencil like this one that you see me use, and this can live in my bag. And um, I've already got an eraser in the bottom of my bag. <laughs> Um, yeah, but a, a nice mechanical pencil because then you haven't got to worry about sharpener and all that rubbish. And um, yeah, I can then, you know, have a go at drawing stuff while I'm out and about as well. So yeah, be a piece of that. It feels lovely. I'm so bummed it doesn't smell of leather. My, I mean, Poppins does. Oh God, you can't. So I'm wondering if this is actually real leather or not. I shall have to investigate. Does anybody know? Pell? I'm sure it's Pell. P E W L E. But yeah. Yeah, I don't think she's been as loved as, as what she will be with me. She's obviously been a functional planner, which is what she will be with me. But um Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. There okay, there's my planner stack. <laughs> and my wallet. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go and um, get on with things. I'm gonna go and do the little bit of housework that I was gonna do while waiting. I'll um, film this later as well. I fucked the last video up. I was gonna film it and I went through the whole thing. I unwrapped them all and I swatched and got it all, clicked up to press start recording and I hadn't actually pressed start recording. I was so angry with myself. But yeah, I'm quite looking forward to uh, opening these ones. Uh, 
I'm gonna buy a watercolor palette uh, to um, an empty palette to put all of my Joan Davenport's in so that I haven't got three tins floating around whenever I wanna do something. Because while these palettes are great for out and about, I don't take my watercolors out and about. I want them at home. So, oh yeah, I can see that I like those two colors. Four greens, awesome. Five if you count that one. Nice. We've all got water type names. Water spirit, sylph, no reed, aerial, frolic, some tresses. Alchemy, flirtatious, sea mist, Lorelei, enchantress, and sea nymph. Oh, yes, I'm. Oh, it's different paper. Ah, oh, cool. Right, anyway, I'm going to go and get on with my day. And I'll see you in the evening edition. Have a good day. Hi, welcome back. It's the evening edition. Yay! Right, um, I've been sketching for the last hour or so, and I think we're about there. About there. Um, so let's do the usual plan of stuff. I wore makeup. Um, I have done the challenges, or I will do in a sec, they are ready to go. So we can go all the way along there to that bit. Um, I'm not going to mark the booze of fizzy or the caffeine. Um, I've had chips. I haven't crafted yet. So I won't mark any of that until I know for sure whether I haven't done it because it's only 8 o'clock. And after all, it is Friday night. You know, I might just have a sneaky drink in a minute. And go and watch The Flash or something. Because I know how to live the high life. So what did you do today? Did you have a good day? I went down to visit my friend. Um, his dad's not, not too well, so... You know, it's getting to that point. It's a bit, a bit hard for everybody, but... Right, um, doobie 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 doo. where is my pen? There it is. Um, I'd say my mood's probably about the same, and my pain is about the same. My leg's feeling loads better, but it still doesn't like to be pushed, you know. So I am going to do next week's challenge, Fitbit challenge, but it's a light one. You know, so there won't be any major um, major walking going on, thankfully. Okay, so it is a Saturday. I no, it's Friday. I knew that, right? Okay, so I did the banister and the bathroom earlier. Like I said, I was going to do. And I did the microwave. I'll do the rest in a minute. Even though I was going to do it all while waiting for the post, and the post actually turned up before I ended up doing it, which you've just seen. So chuffed. Um, okay. So... You can probably hear Darren in the <laughs> he's, uh, he's taken his Paw Patrol to bed with him, Wendy. So, yeah, thanks for that. So, my planner cover arrived. My JD Pates arrived. And my new SIM card arrived. All oh, that has been done. That has been done. la di da di da di da Fantastic. So, can't wait to get into next week and use this. I'm so pleased with how this came out. Really, really pleased with it. love that noise as well <laughs> okay um 
the prompt for Wednesday was my buddy. Um, the first thing I said when I saw this was, oh my god, it looks like Chucky. Uh, apparently, somewhere, that's where they got the inspiration for Chucky. I don't know if that's true or not, that's just something I read on the internet and, you know, not everything you read on the internet is true, kids. But, um, I can't draw faces. I sat here for an hour trying and I got so pissed off with it. So, what I've done is I've drawn the My Buddy logo and the other prompt was tropical leaves so there's some tropical leaves coming out behind it okay so that's what i'm doing you might think that's a cheat but i don't give a shit i just don't i'm i'm <laughs> i was getting so cross and i just decided you know what it's not worth it this is a doodle challenge this is not a bust your ass trying to make it right it's okay it's going to be tropical leaves and my buddy except tape and a rotary phone and a tropical drink over here or a fancy drink but I went for a, like a tropical cocktail type thing so I am gonna put on a book and we'll get on with it Okay, so that took a while. Um, <clears throat> I had to go and see Daryl at one point and then go and pour a drink. <laughs> so there we go, we've got my buddy, some tropical leaves, King of the Road by Roger Miller. Uh, the tape I did, I actually wrote the song title and the artist here in the on the label. <clears throat> So, yeah, Sweet Home Alabama. 
and then my tropical drink and the rotary fan. And I just I found this picture on um, Google and I just loved the idea of just a shadow rotary and that was literally all it was there's no numbers there's no phone and it, just the rotary and I just thought do you know that's so cool so that's what I went for and then of course it's not a fancy drink unless it has an umbrella and and a fruit <laughs> and it's got to be blue hasn't it tropical drinks always seem to be blue so yeah and those little thin straws they always they're always red I don't know why so there you go and on the road again by Willie Nelson so yeah we're all caught up um I've got to write the day in I don't know whether it'll fit now because I put my drink a bit too close to it uh, let's see if we can get it it's Friday in it like Thursday out of the other. Oh, yes, so it is. Right. There we go. That fits in there really nicely. Um, right. There's not really much else to do then, is there? I'm going to, um, what am I going to do? I'm going to journal. <laughs> uh, get this edited and get it all uploaded. And that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for joining. Um, you know the drill. Uh, he's asleep. Bless him. Only just. He tends to fall asleep at like bang on 10 to 9. It's really funny. And he is at the moment like asleep. Uh, uh. <laughs> Bless him. Oh, he's so cute. But you know what he says? Leave us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment because we love comments. If you click the book, you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell, YouTube willing, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so, 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 so much for joining. I love you all so much. You're all brilliant. Because you keep coming back. I don't know why you keep coming back. But you do. And I love you for it. Thank you. Leave me a comment. Let's have a chat. I'm going to open the Jane Davenport paints tomorrow, the new the new tin that we sneaky peeked earlier on. Um, yeah, I'll open and swatch those tomorrow. All right, take it easy, guys. See you later.